Guys, Haryana battles the shock suicide of the two girls stalked and then later driven to commit suicide. The BJP has now picked sexist MLA to lead its charge in the forthcoming assembly polls in the state. The BJP has now named Kailash Vijay Bargia as its Haryana in charge. He is the same MLA who said women who cross the Lakshman Rekha will pay the price. Vijay Bargia has made those uh, remarks in reference to the Delhi gang rape. Now, in fact, consider what Kailash Vijayvargya had said in 2013, and I quote him here. He said, there is a moral limit which should not be breached. If it is breached, one must understand that Ravan is watching and then Sita is bound to be abducted, unquote. Moving on, the Bihar minister whose son attempted suicide in the Sindhya school in Gwalior has now alleged that his son was a victim of a murder plot. So far, it was being seen as a case of ragging and harassment. Three senior students and two staff members have been booked in the case. Headlines Today spoke exclusively with the father of the victim who is now battling for his life at a hospital in Delhi. <laughs> और अपने जान समझ से वो लोग मृत करके उसको छोड़ दिया आप समझ लीजिए कि कंप्लीट वन आवर के बाद जब वो लाइनअप होता है खाना खाने के बाद और जब लाइनअप में नहीं पाया गया तो वही पिलर के नीचे वो सोया हुआ है और तब आकर एक लड़का ने कहा कि ये गिरा हुआ है पिलर पर लटका हुआ है Meanwhile, more skeletons seem to be tumbling out of the Sindhya school's closet. Another parent has now revealed that he was forced to withdraw his son from the school due to ragging, also claiming that the management demanded gifts from time to time from parents. Gwalior SSP Santosh Kumar Singh joins headlines today for the latest in the Sindhya school ragging case. So there are media reports suggesting that this could perhaps be an attempt to murder case and not an attempt to suicide. Where are the investigations of this? A police inquiry committee had investigated the case and prima facie they found that uh, under different sections of IPC this was a criminal case. Action has been taken against five people till now. The investigation is on. Police has to interrogate certain number of people. We have to speak to family again. And as and when the different evidence come in this thing and whatever evidence come, based on that we will be taking all the legal action. Could you summarize for us what the headmasters have told you so far if it's helpful? Uh, basically, I think uh, they have what they have said that uh, starting the whole thing started during daytime. This boy had earlier also harassed, and uh, there was some this thing regarding the uploading of picture uh, on Facebook, and regarding that they had bodily searched the student concerned, and after that they had recovered uh, mobile phones from him, and perhaps uh, a follow-up incident uh, happened after that only, and after that few teachers reached on the spot, uh, and the whole act was brought to notice uh, to the authorities by the one student, one particular student student when he went there and in fact he untied the knot also. So those people have been spoken with and the police have collected their evidence so far. It has led to a certain number of uh, people involved in harassment, not acting at the right time, not informing the police authorities and the district administration authorities. So based on that police has taken its action. In the further course of investigation if we get evidence against whoever uh, comes we will take uh, strictest possible action as per law. Did the headmaster also say that this is not the first incident where he actually came up with a complaint against harassment and uh, till now, uh, headmasters, uh, this thing has, he has not said anything about the uh, previous incidents or anything. He has uh, given his uh, version to police based on this incident. In the media reports over uh, published, in, especially in the print media, over a period of about last four or five days, there have been different pictures in which certain things have been shown. So that has been given to, again, police inquiry team to look into that, that what were those acts and uh, why those acts, if uh, th those acts happened at all, why those acts were not reported to police or the, uh, why those acts were not brought to notice of police from the school authorities. Since the investigations are still on. All right, on this story, some breaking news coming in. Official sources have told headlines today that the diary has been found of the victim and the last entry made on it says, and I quote, it said, I quit, suggesting that it was indeed a suicide attempt. Forensic experts now saying that it was a suicide attempt based on circumstantial evidence. Jaskirat Singh Baba joins me over the telephone line for more on this. Jaskirat, what more details can you share with us? This could be a new twist in this case. But absolutely, although the initial uh, hunch was that it was an attempt to suicide, of course, uh, 
the parents disagreed and said that this was an attempt to murder. Well, the police are not entirely ruling that out. We have to say that the SSB has said that that aspect of the investigation is still open. They're still awaiting the final medical report from Apollo Hospital in Delhi, as well as a statement by the victim himself as and when he does get better to get a final picture as to what really happened. However, for now, as per the circumstantial evidence, they've stated there are two things. The abuse and the harassment on the victim by the perpetrators actually happened over a period of time. It wasn't just a one-off incident. It happened over a period of time, which clearly may have had an impact on his psyche. Apart from that, they said that they have found a diary also which belonged to the victim. And the last entry was that which we just said is I quit. They said that that is the circumstantial evidence proving that they could perhaps be an attempt to suicide. Once again, this is not a final uh, 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 sign off on this particular case. Right. The matter is still open for investigation. There are many other aspects yet to be investigated, including the fact the hours that it took for the school authority as well as the hospital doctors to inform the police about this, which is clearly a medical legal case. Right, just Kira, it's a lot of uh, uh, things, really, facts have to come out. A lot of rounds of questioning to be left uh, to be conducted in this particular case. Thanks so much for joining us with the details for the moment.